So this video is not clickbait. I will never use Gemini crypto exchange again, and you will never see a referral code for Gemini on this channel from here on out. Now, let me tell you why. If you watch the video that I made about the horrible experience with Gemini and how the customer service was basically scamming me after that, I sent them the video and I said, listen, you guys clearly have a tough time understanding the issue. So I made a whole long video about it and I put it up on my public YouTube channel. Literally minutes after they went ahead, admitted they were wrong and gave me my money back. Now I want to show you exactly what happened because it makes me really, really frustrated and upset to know that for people who don't have a platform, they're probably just gypped by these companies and there is a very centralized barrier to get into these decentralized economy that we call cryptocurrency and i am never going to use gemini again i want you to take a look at this experience and let me know your thoughts and if you had a situation anywhere even similar to this please mention in the comments as well Okay, since I already made a video on exactly what happened, I'll just breeze through it. I basically made a profitable Luna trade. We're talking about a couple of hundred dollars, not thousands of dollars. I know it's small beans, but there was a mistake on Gemini's end where the order said it executed and it said this in various areas of the Gemini platform, but come to find out days later, nothing actually happened to my account and I was still holding Luna even though it said I sold Luna at a profitable price. Now I was losing like half of my account's money and I was pissed and so I had a long back and forth and they gave me every reason in the book for why they're right and they're not going to give me my money back. First, they said, due to liquidity conditions, we have switched trading for Luna and UST into limit only mode. This means your stop limit order will not execute. These crypto will only be available to trade on Active Trader for all Gemini customers. So after that, I actually give them a reason why they're wrong. And I also inform them that I have a YouTube channel and that I am going to be making videos about this. And I have sent a bunch of referrals their way. And they said, thank you for following up. We appreciate your patronage on your YouTube channel. Thank you. It appears your stop limit order was placed two days after we had informed all Gemini customers that Luna and UST traders will only be executed in limit only mode. An email was sent out on May 12th with regards to this. We encourage you to search your email inbox and review that email. I searched everywhere, including spam and all mail, and I had friends that use Gemini do the same. They did not find any email. I did not find any email, and I was livid about this. This is absolutely bad business. And after I tell them that, they tell me, my team and I reviewed your trade and it appears you had too many decimal places in your order. So first they said the problem was that I placed the stop limit order. Then they said I didn't read the emails. Now they're saying there's too many decimal places in my order. Even though I didn't put any decimal places, I just clicked 100% in the system and it filled it for whatever 100% Luna is. And there was a lot of decimal places, but that's their system. And so right here they says, in other words, once the price crossed your trigger price and placed your order on the order book, your order was too specific and due to low liquidity, there just wasn't an order that matched your order exactly. That's ridiculous because it's a limit order. It doesn't matter if I have specific decimal points. As long as that price, if I'm selling, is above my limit order price, then it should go ahead and sell. This is such a no-brainer. This is amateur hour. This is absolutely ridiculous. Three different reasons throw my way that made absolutely no sense. So I went ahead and I created a video. It was called Horrible Gemini Exchange Experience and Clueless Customer Service. Here's what happened. And I shared my entire experience. I sent it to them. And shortly thereafter, they sent me this. Thank you for your continued patience. Good news. After another review, we will honor your trade of a limit sell for this amount of Luna in USD. And they just want to confirm that they're going to deposit this amount in my account. Now I know you're looking at this and they're saying, Eddie, why are you wasting our time with $428.29 video? It's not that. This could have easily been $4,000. It could have easily been $40,000 or $400,000. And the fact that they gave me three different reasons and the fact that after I sent them a video bashing them just minutes later, 
they went ahead and they sent me this. Oh, great news. It turns out the three different reasons we gave you were actually garbage and fake. And the fact that you're putting us on blast on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and honor your trade. This is really bad business. Sneaky snake oil salesman stuff. This is stuff I don't appreciate, especially in a place where it's supposed to be decentralized, right? It's supposed to be you put an order, it goes through, but no, their system made a mistake and they made it my mistake. And remember, there's no one I could go to complain to. There is no customer service I could call. There is nothing I could do. I could just sit on my hands. But I worked hard for a few years to build a presence on a YouTube channel. And now you can't mess with me that easy because I make videos about it. Thousands of people are going to see it. And so I believe they were forced to do what was right. They went ahead and admitted that it was their fault. It was their goof up. And they're going to go ahead and proceed with crediting my account because they're going to honor my trade of a limit sell for the amount of Luna USD because I did it correctly. And their system said it was executed. And I truly do believe if I didn't have a YouTube presence, I would not be receiving this money. They wouldn't care about me. All I would be is one extra bad review on the App Store or Google Play, or I'd write something on a blog somewhere that nobody's going to read. So first of all, I want to tell all the clowns out there on Reddit when I posted the previous video and they said, oh no, that's your error. That's your mistake. You did something wrong. That wasn't Gemini. Even Gemini disagrees with you now. Both Gemini and you were wrong and I got my money back. After that, I said, you know what? After this experience, I don't ever want to touch Gemini again or use it. So I'm going to withdraw my money. And I saw that I was unable to withdraw my money. And the reason was is because Gemini, after they gave me my money back, they still had an order in the books where I was selling Luna, even though I didn't even own Luna, that stop limit order was still there. And so I had to go, I had to click and cancel out of that order. And then I was able to withdraw my money. Now I do want to give credit to where credit is due. When I withdrew the money within a couple of days, it was in my bank account. There was like a $15 or $25 wire transfer fee, but the funds that I took out did appear in my bank account. And me personally, I am done with Gemini. I'm not exactly team Zuckerberg, but I am not a fan of the Vinca losses these past couple of months. So personally, that was my situation. I wanted to share it with you guys because honestly, it's us running crypto. There's no centralized exchange. There's no single one that runs it. There's no company. There's no person. It is us and we make up the community and we have to hold these exchanges accountable, especially the ones that are centralized and there's powers that be that go and just do ridiculous stuff like this customer service experience where they gave me three or four different reasons that were clearly nonsense because as soon as I posted a video, they admitted, oh yeah, you were right. Here's your money back. And it's just messed up. It means that if you don't have a voice, if you don't have a big channel, you're going to get screwed by a lot of these companies. And the only way to hold them accountable is to share our experience and to put the pressure on them to make sure that they clean up their act, that their customer service is more accessible. Why is it that I can't jump on the phone with someone and explain my situation? They were not understanding my situation and I'm very good at explaining things. I have a lot of tutorials on this channel. They do well because I explain things pretty well and they couldn't understand my issue. I had to take hours out of the day to make a really long YouTube video explaining the issue and then they were like, oh, okay, yeah, you were right. That's messed up and that shouldn't be the case. There should be some way to grab a hold of these people and talk to them on the phone, just like regular customer service. I use E-Trade all the time. I'm not a millionaire. When I use E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, when I have an issue, even if it's a small account, I hop on the phone, I talk to a person, we go through it, and most of the time, especially with E-Trade, they'll say if it was an error on their end, they'll say, hey, thanks for catching this. Here's an extra 100 or $150 credit for the trouble. And that is a way to keep the customers around. But something like this, just saying, oh, Gemini, it's been around for a while and people know the Winklevoss twins and all this jazz. So we're just going to keep using it because there's not too many options. That's messed up. Invest in your customer service. Stop investing in ads and commercials and advertisements and take care of the people that actually use your platform. Because me personally, I will never refer Gemini again. I'm going to take him off my videos. And I most certainly will never be caught using Gemini in the future. 
And when people ask me, hey, which crypto exchange should I use for this or that, Gemini will never come out of my mouth.